What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys probably already know at this point, but if you didn't, the G80 M3 and pretty much every modern BMW M car has one major flaw, one like weak spot that could end up being something much worse than it has to be. And that is the oil cooler right over here. So as you guys can tell, BMW for some reason leaves this whole thing exposed, which doesn't really make sense to me. I'm sure there's a reason, but I just don't understand it. But regardless, it is exposed and it's right underneath the car. So what could potentially happen is you can be driving down the road, hit a pretty big rock and just dent the cooler or even worse, you can puncture it, thus leaking a whole bunch of oil. And the downside guys is if you're driving, you actually wouldn't even know that it's leaking. Like really the only thing you have to protect it is this splash guard right over here. So nothing can go directly at it but if a rock gets like shot up or something it's definitely happened to other cars in the past guys I actually almost bought an f80 m3 which had that issue so it can happen and has happened in the past so of course a whole bunch of companies made some aftermarket solutions so there's a few options for you guys to get now of course with my g80 m3 being a hundred thousand dollar car you guys already know i had to get something to protect it because i am driving this car a little more now and i don't want to leave it exposed anymore there's a few options though i was looking at there's some cheap options there's some more expensive options so I didn't know which one to get really so rather than just picking one and show you guys I figured I get both so here as you can see we have two options we have this right over here which is from a company called Zun Sport Zoom Sport don't really know how to pronounce it and we also have this one which is from Mishimoto you guys can probably already guess this is the more expensive one this is the cheaper option but is it worth getting the more expensive one or are you better off getting the cheaper one for reference guys this is actually a little less than 200 bucks the mishimoto one is about 550 but you can find them on sale so i will say that i've seen them as low as 450 but regardless it's more than double the price now before i go any further let me just clarify guys i'm not sponsored by zun sport or whatever it's called and i'm not sponsored by mishimoto so i'm gonna give you guys my genuine opinions on which one you should pick I'll show you quickly how to install them. They're actually not too difficult and they do come with instructions, but either one you pick, links will be down in the description below. But with that said, let's compare them. So right off the bat, the Mishimoto one is definitely a lot more sturdy. It feels like one solid, pretty heavy piece, which is probably something you might wanna consider. But this part over here, which is meant to cover the actual oil cooler is super solid, literally no flex whatsoever the holes are a little bigger so you can have some more rocks slip through there but it's still a lot better than obviously what's currently on the car which is literally nothing this one right over here though it's just one piece of flexible mesh something nice about this is the mesh is a lot tighter it's going to stop smaller rocks from getting in there so overall right off the bat this one actually might protect the car a little better as opposed to this one but this one again is more sturdy and it's also a complete piece now in practice which one will protect your car better I mean, honestly, guys, I feel like either will do a pretty decent job. They're both going to provide some type of protection to your oil cooler, which, again, currently has nothing on it. So anything is better than nothing. So I think you really can't go wrong with either in that regard. Something I will say, though, is this piece is pretty simple. For almost 200 bucks, all you're really getting is just one mesh piece. Like, I feel like you can probably just go on Amazon, buy some mesh and make your own for maybe like a fraction of the price. Whereas this here, it's a complete piece. Like this is literally formed and shaped to the under splash guard, whatever you want to call it, of the G80 M3. Like this, believe it or not, I feel like justifies its price a little more. Again, it being a complete piece with a nice wrinkle black finish. Not that you're gonna see underneath the car. You're not gonna see either of these underneath the car, but it does look better. It feels more premium. Whereas again, this one is pretty much a piece of mesh with some pieces over here to mount it. So now in terms of installation, they're pretty similar, but they are so a little different. The Mishimoto piece is a little more involved. Again, it's not difficult, but it is a little more involved because it is a complete replacement. It does come with some new hardware that you will have to use for some areas, not all of them. And then this piece here is actually super easy to install. As you guys saw, it has two pieces over here to use uh, your factory hardware to mount this thing up. And then it'll actually come with two self-tapping screws which you'll screw on onto the other side to basically screw it into the plastic to hold it on all four corners. So to install this cheaper grill, what we have to do is remove the two bolts on either side. There's one over there and then there's one over here. They're both just 10 mils, pretty easy and simple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove both of those. So with both of those bolts out, we can just take our new grill, line it up, put the old hardware back in just to hold this new grill in place. So I got it mounted, super easy guys. I tightened up the bolts after just doing it with my hand first. Now what we have to do after is put those self-tapping screws in the back over here. 
I'm not gonna do it because I don't know if I'm gonna commit to this piece. I actually might go for the Mishimoto one. But just right off the bat, guys, it's already mounted pretty well. I'm sure those two self-tappers will help it hold in even better. But even with those, I feel like it's still going to flop around a little bit. Like, this thing isn't the most sturdy. But I will say, guys, I feel like this will do the job and protect it decently well. And again, for the price, you probably can't go wrong with this one. So would I recommend this piece? Um, honestly, yes and no. I would say yes if you want something relatively cheap because, again... This is only less than like $200. I know that's not cheap, but compared to the Mishimoto one, which is like $500, it's cheaper. And I do believe it's good enough to protect the car. Now, I can't say for sure, guys, so please don't take that as like a definite. But just looking at this, like it will create some type of protection for your oil cooler. So I think it'll get the job done. The reason why I wouldn't recommend it is, well, I feel like you can just go get some mesh off Home Depot and just like self-tap it into all four corners because to me that's what this kind of is unless you don't want to do like more work and you can get this one i mean installation is super easy but you know if it was up to me if i really wanted to go cheap i would just go like super cheap go to home depot get some mesh four self-tapping screws and call it a day that would probably cost me like 20 bucks so for this piece it's going to be the same premise to install it. we're just going to remove the original hardware take off the entire splash guard and then we're going to replace it with this piece using some of the original hardware as well as using some of the new hardware that they provide only really for the front over here you guys can actually tell the holes look a little different so new hardware over here everywhere else we're going to use original hardware now i'm not going to film this entire process in detail because mishimoto actually already makes a really good diy video which is super simple and clean me i'm trying to give you guys a high level of what this is like and compare it to that other piece so with that said i'm going to install this and then we'll talk about it on the car afterwards All right, guys, and after some time, the Mishimoto piece is finally installed. It wasn't too bad. It's actually pretty easy. There's just a lot of hardware. It's a little tedious. I will say the other piece is way easier, way quicker to install. So if that's something you guys are concerned about, maybe the other piece might be better suited for you on top of the fact that it's much cheaper. But with that said, let me show you what this piece looks like because honestly, I'm really impressed. So as you guys can see, the new piece is installed and this thing is super sturdy. It's literally rock solid. It doesn't shake whatsoever so this thing's gonna feel really sturdy underneath the car while driving i don't envision this thing like shaking or rattling those holes are still a little bigger than the other piece but i think this should still be fine and at least provide some type of cage and protection we did reuse the factory splash guard right over here so we still have that on top of the cage and overall it replaces the entire like under piece of the car so it feels it feels really high quality honestly just looking at it like installing it it all feels really good I'm really happy with this. Personally, I'm gonna stick with this piece. The other piece was good, but this is a G80M3 that costs like $100,000. This is a $500 piece that could potentially save me a lot of headache and a lot of money. So I know it's tough, guys. Spend that much money on something that you're not even gonna see. Like literally, you're never gonna see this piece until you raise the car or something like that. Which I mean, like how often do you really do that? But I think it's worth it. Personally, I'm gonna go with this piece. After like having both of them and kind of installing both of them, I think this is just clearly the better piece. If you guys don't have the budget for it, I get it, but maybe just go to Home Depot, get some mesh, or maybe if you're lazy and you just want an easy way that's relatively cheap, hey, that other piece is a great option as well. Either way, I think you should definitely get at least something to protect your oil cooler down there because, again, that could result in a very bad day. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, with that said, this video is pretty much done, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.